In Italy this morning, the murder trial opened for an American college student and her former boyfriend, 21-year-old Amanda Knox of Seattle and her 24-year-old ex-boyfriend, an Italian, are charged with killing a fellow student in 2007. Prosecutors say Knox stabbed her roommate, Meredith Kircher, while the boyfriend held her down. A third defendant was convicted and imprisoned for 30 years. Joining us are Amanda's parents, Kurt Knox and Etta Mellis. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Your daughter's trial just began a few hours ago. Mm -hmm. Why are the two of you in New York City and not over there in Italy? You know, we'd, we'd of course love to be there. I mean, it's heartbreaking that we're not, but I can't be in the trial because I'm a witness. I'm being called as a witness, and so I'm not allowed into the courtroom until I've made my statements as a witness. So, yeah, I couldn't even be in there. Kurt, when's the last time you spoke to your daughter, and how is she doing? Well, we actually get to talk to her once a week uh, on Thursdays uh, for 10 minutes. And uh, she's, she's nervous. I mean, obviously nervous about getting the trial started and everything like that. And just the differences between what happens in the United States during a trial versus what happens in Italy. Prosecutors reportedly say that they have a strong case to prove that Amanda was part mm -hmm. of the night that, you know, had something to do with Meredith's murder. Mm -hmm. What... What do you have to say about that, Etta? You know, our, our lawyers have said all along, you know, she's innocent and there is no evidence to connect her to the crime. There's no physical evidence of her anywhere near that room. There's no motive. There's no murder weapon. I mean, there's nothing to connect her to the crime. How do you respond, Kurt, to reports that your daughter gave different versions of where she was that night and what happened that night? Well, first of all, let's, let's kind of be clear. At the very beginning, she came out with what her original statement was, and that Which was, was on November 2nd. And her original statement was? That she was at Raffaele's house, they spent the night together, watched a movie, so on. And the only time that it's ever come out that she's changed her story was during a 14-hour interrogation all night in which uh, she actually made two statements, one at 1.45 a.m. and another one at 5.45 a.m. And the Supreme Court of Italy has literally thrown them out because uh, they were coerced. So, you know, when people look at this and say, she changed her story, no. no. And what do you see as the biggest challenge in proving Amanda innocent? The people over there in, in, in Italy have heard lies for a year. You know, they've heard, oh, we have an open and shut case. We have all this evidence, and, and none of that is true. And so, you know, we're, we really have to be hopeful that they're not going to um, listen to what they've heard in the media for a year, that they're really just going to look at the evidence. And we're really confident if they just look at the evidence, she'll be found innocent. Have either of you talked to the family of Meredith Kircher since Meredith was killed? Mm -mm, no. no. No, no, we haven't. I mean, it, our, our hearts go out to them, you know, in the loss of their daughter. Uh, it, it's one in which we've, we have another opportunity with our daughter. And uh, I... I can't even imagine what they're feeling. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. In the final moments, who do you think was responsible for Meredith Kircher's murder? What do you think happened that night, Etta? Well, you know, I mean, they, they have a lot of evidence and they have found somebody guilty of that crime. And, and what all the evidence points to is that there was a break-in, a burglary, and then something went wrong. You know, Meredith came home and, and that's what the evidence points to. So I guess, and they've convicted that person of the crime. And so I guess that's, that's what I'm thinking happened. Curtin, Etta, thank you.